hey <laughs> didn't see you there that's a lie i set you up and then i acted like i didn't see you there now that that's out of the way i'm about to have some fun and you know i'm the team the team hey what's up welcome back to my channel it is wahura kabutha in the building that's that's the crowd going wild you can read the title of the video obviously i'm assuming okay so we've gone out to eat may i didn't finish my food you finished you finished yours you know what I, you finished you finished yours so i asked them to pack my food why is when i come back the next day or even in the evening and my food is not in the fridge hey <laughs> it really baffles me it really mother baffles me because it means you took the food from the fridge yeah you put it on a plate put it in the microwave covered it then you are there choosing at how hot you want it to be as in mm, 30 seconds no i'll put it for a minute you then you eat it with such peace not feeling more than it is so crystal wow nothing nothing is yours at you know share at you share and no sometimes the portions you know that awkward side that portion where it's only enough for you like if i share i might as well just bite it this is my samosa like you chuck the samosa and it's like share with your brother nah b nah no this samosa when when we were there in Uchum, when we were buying the samosa so you asked him what he wanted you asked him what did he say what did he say he said then now now because i'm eating it he wants it share with your brother share with your brother even like presents and number of things that probably would be for me then it's like no share with your brother or they when some people are giving you gifts it's like to wahura and duachi i'm like it's for me it's a book for girls why are you including his name though why is his name there for what he's not gonna read the book it's mine oh my goodness you know when you're speaking from the heart you can tell you can tell even i'm really speaking from the heart and some who i was a disney diehard child child okay not child because i still watched it until i was a bit older but whatever the point is i was a disney diehard human being so friday i know high school musical 2 is coming out because they've been hyping this mother from january now it's in june now as i'm watching tv i realize this kamodo is this maybe even him he wants to watch high school musical we don't know then tells me that there's a game at 8 30. high school musical is starting at 8 we're gonna have a problem here we'd fight so much none of us ends up watching what we want and then we would sabotage each other where one you hide the remote it even got to the point so hiding the remote worked for some time and then reached a point where you have to hide the batteries if I sit in front when we're going, then you sit in front when we're coming back. Cool, that worked for some time. But it got complicated when, if, let's say, we go somewhere, me have sat in front, and then when we're coming back, we've met, like, with our parents, and then now, me, I go with my mom, so I sit at the front. So I end up sitting at the front twice, going and coming back. But him, because he's now coming back with my dad, he'll sit at the front, so he's only sat at the front once. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you understand the complication? Like, petty things. Do you understand the complication there? So we had another sibling meeting and we said that if it's a female driving, may I sit in front? And if it's a male driving, then him, he sits in front. So that worked for some time, especially because like my parents would drop us to school. The only issue was it would reach a point when my dad is constantly dropping us to school. So which mother is sitting in front? My brother. It's not working for me, honey. It's not working for me. This one I haven't outgrown because even until now I tell my brother like yo, you know I'm going to return you or if I'm proper pissed I'll be like I don't even know why we adopted you. Mom, mom, tell her to stop telling me that. Mom, tell her I'm adopted. Mom, I'm adopted. So my mom would be like Ati, tell her if you are adopted then then what is she? What what happened to her? Then I wasn't adopted. <laughs> my parents have such weird comebacks. This happens in the kitchen. My mom will dead ass be looking at me and then call me Dwati. And I'm like, and she's like, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yeah. What if I called you dad and I was looking at you? Would you respond? Um, obviously, obviously, I don't say this to her face. This is just something that I think about. But when she looks at me dead ass and calls me Dwati, I answer like the little bitch I am. Yeah, I'll answer. I'll even run.
So my brother was like really naughty in and outside of school everywhere. He was just a naughty piece of thing. Whatever. Let me catch my brother breaking a rule. I see my mom said no watching TV until six o'clock. And this guy decides to put on the TV at 5 30. Hey! Listen, me I'm a smart sister. I'm not gonna tell on you. I'm not gonna tell on you because I need leverage in our future arguments and disagreements. So I'll be like, fine, I'm not gonna tell mom. But there's some things that you have to do for me. And you know, I even wrote up contracts for like a solid six months and be it and be set in terms of watching TV, in terms of sitting in front, in terms of any other argument that we'd have and be set. You know, you tell your brother to get out of his room, to get out of your room, and then when you're arguing, he can't cross the line. You've told him, get out of my room, but him, he still wants to continue the argument. He'll just stand outside here and keep chal blah, 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 from here, but he's not crossing the line. Because of how close my brother and I are in age, I was only faster and stronger than him for like a short period of our lives until I was like eight, nine. So him, he was six seven we always used to have running competitions and i remember this one time okay i'll never forget this day it was a sunday we had gone to church and then we went to my shoshos place and he beat me i wasn't even using my full speed but since that sunday in terms of running things have never been the same because he's faster than me and now he's definitely stronger than me so you just learn to be humble <laughs> you learn to be humble humility is key I know what you're wondering, how were you borrowing each other's clothes and he's a guy and you're a girl? That's the thing. He wouldn't take my clothes, that's the joy about our dynamic. It would always be me stealing his borrow borrowing his clothes for a really long time. And Yes, 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 this is his. Sometimes I replace whatever I get and then I wear what I replaced with. So it's just it's just a cycle that people in society need to accept. Things that will just happen. I even him he was asking for it when he bought it. I surely. That's all that I have. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have something that you and your siblings used to, still do, have been doing, please let me know. Like comment the comment in the comment section. What? Obviously, comment in the comment section. You just comment and share it with other people. So I'm told to us we can have a little laugh and a giggle. And subscribe. Thanks. Thank you. So next week, same time. All right. Bye. Go and watch the sibling tag. Come on. Papa Jones. Yes. Uh, Jack. I've been doing this ever since I was a teeny. Now everybody wanna be me. And though I don't jump down with anything, but I still die with a jiro and a kini. Talk to a jiro and a kini. Sleep with a jiro and a kini. And though I don't jump down with anything, but I still die with a jiro and a kini. Get